So I'm continuing on with this article, What Barbie Gets Right About Male Psychology. So we discussed about Ken feels he's not getting the desired attention that he's seeking, and that's affecting his identity and self-esteem. We talked about individuation and how it seems like Barbie has individuated, but Ken has not. He's still dependent on Barbie's source of validation. The article continues, This feeling is not too dissimilar to the experience that I see in my practice, where men often experience a greater degree of rejection and isolation in a relationship as a result of a perceived lack of attention or affection from their partner or spouse. One area where this plays out very strongly is in the realm of touch and sexuality. Men, in my experience, funnel a lot more existential value into their partner's physical affection, touch, and sexual connection. There's a book that discusses the different love languages, which is one way to look at this, where a lot of men will have the love language primarily being that of physical touch, which comes into play a lot in sex. And women will have primarily the love language of receiving gifts, quality time, acts of service. And this can show up as a mismatch where when they were dating, there was an enthusiasm about the relationship where they were going above and beyond to naturally meet each other's needs. But now as the relationship has progressed and there hasn't been that same level of effort, there needs and their love language isn't being met. And so I see two scenarios playing out here. The first scenario is that the two people in the relationship are equally invested, but they just don't have the skills to make it work. They don't have the skills to communicate what they're feeling, what they're dealing with. They don't have the skills to process what they're feeling on an internal level with themselves. And I'm doing a video tomorrow that's really about providing that space for you to be your own friend, to be your own emotional support, and then you can provide that healthy space for the other person where you're not entirely dependent on the other person and how they react and whether they're in a good mood that day. And of course you can build and develop these skills, but they primarily focus on yourself, on your own ability to work on your own emotions and be able to process them.